Hi there friends across the Western Pacific, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta and today's main topic continues to be Typhoon Ample. It's it nears uh, the coastline of Japan. We still have inflow coming in behind it and even a bit of a tropical wave nearing Guam. I'll have a separate up update on that. But let's talk about Ample here as it continues track towards north here. Uh, maintaining Typhoon intensity as it nears the Izu Islands. But the good news, it looks like it's going to be passing just offshore of Tokyo, the Kanto area. Now you might say that's good news why is just offshore uh that puts you on the left side of the storm you're gonna have northerly winds so you're not gonna have as much of that onshore breeze uh so we're not gonna be talking about you know devastating flooding or anything like that in fact the worst of the weather is going to remain in that right front quadrant kind of skirting the coastline here so winds right now still at typhoon intensity as it kicks off here towards the north uh just kind of looking at the forecast heading through our thursday into friday yeah i mean 70 80 kilometer per hour winds even on uh, parts of the izu islands if they're in the left side of the storm but you still could have some pretty decent banding but we're talking about 120 or higher that's going to be in that inner core on the right front quadrant which based on the current forecast all thanks to uh, wukong off towards the east kind of hooking this and helping it churn east uh that inner core of the destructive wind should remain offshore now with that said still looking at some rather messy conditions here on our friday across the coastal areas of chiba and even into uh the uh, Tokyo area, especially in parts of Kanagawa, as those winds, you can see here, this is by Friday morning, the winds start to wrap in from the north and kind of get scooted up Tokyo Bay. Plus, you can get some funneling coming through a few of the valleys here. So it, it's going to be messy. And on top of that, the waves, for sure. The surf along the coast is going to be absolutely rough. This is looking ahead into th the Friday morning. Once again, you get kind of that northerly breeze. And you can see this little like branch right in here, the winds. That's that funneling coming up Tokyo Bay. So I think places, once again, like Yokosuka, Yokohama, all the way up uh, through uh, the mouth of the bay, it's going to be messy. I've actually chased right at the mouth of Tokyo Bay before, and it was it was a good wind out there. Now, they're used to these type of storms. It's not going to be, you know, total destruction. Storm surge usually is not a big concern here, but uh, definitely could knock out power, light poles down, things like that. So something you want to watch out for, maybe some down tree limbs. But that heavy rainfall, at least the worst of it, is not going to be pushing inland, so you're not going to have that orographic lifting in the mountains here. But you still have some of those scattered showers right along your coast. I think the biggest issue is going to be those northerly winds just wrapping in around the uh, backside of this as this kicks off towards the north and east. So if you have any travel plans on Friday, especially, I think it's going to be a rough go. If you want to head out to the beach, I would highly suggest against it by Thursday evening through over the night into Friday. And look at this, 6 to 13 meter high waves in the right front quadrant of this. Still going to be seeing about 3 to 6 meters along the coast though. So it's going to be some big old waves out there uh for sure rough weather but the worst of it friday midday here chiba kanagawa extending off there towards north across parts of tohoku tokyo though it's going to be a rainy day with all across the izu islands as well temperatures a bit cooler 28 there for you while things are relatively dry if we're looking into northern areas of japan let's pull back the bigger picture guys let's look at well of course we have well what's left of wukong right in there you have ample here you have that monsoon flow wrapping it around the back side of it which has been bringing some pretty decent uh, spotty showers across northwestern areas of Luzon. Now, as we go ahead in the weekend, overall, this monsoonal trough is lifting towards the north. We have another low developing just around Okinawa as well. That's going to be kind of getting pulled off here. And that's going to increase precip for Okinawa too, uh, for sure, as we go ahead through Sunday into Monday as this all lifts on by. And uh, with that, our old monsoonal trough lifts through, but we still get some of that southwesterly flow. So scattered showers continuing for the west coast of the Philippines. But I want to keep an eye on this right there as it could increase showers for Okinawa. And on top of that, I have a separate update on this. Another tropical wave could be developing around Guam and kind of kicking off there. But here's high resolution for the Philippines looking at those scattered showers, mainly back towards the north. But you're still going to have enough instability to bring passing showers, especially to go ahead in the next week. All right, here's a look at the forecast for Manila. Yeah, you got some areas of rain there, some breezy conditions at time. Cebu as well. Oh, I wonder what's going on here. I'm sure the high is not 88. Must be a data ingest issue. <laughs> Goodness gracious, that's not supposed to. Ah, why? What happened here too? I just checked this a minute ago. It looked good. I don't know. Anyways, 
I'm gonna look into that. The point is, it's raining in Baguio. It's hot in Cebu, hot in Manila, afternoon showers. But I think the heaviest of it is lifting towards the north with that monsoon will draw off. I'll keep you guys posted. A big shout out to all our Patreon members who support this channel. Um, Y'all are great, fantastic and great. And I, I just want to say a big, huge thanks to everybody who's um comes out and uh, gives us a shout out. So, yeah. That's what I got going on today. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. Number one thing, of course, is stay safe out there.